The levy is gone and there's no one here to help you now. Hi, I'm John McCann from Survival Resources, and I've decided to do a video here today in regards to ferrocerium and mish metal fire starting rods. Now, I did this video a couple years ago, and it was extremely poor quality, so I took it down. Since then, I've had a lot of people ask me, why don't you redo this video? Because we really enjoyed you explaining these, these devices. So this is where we're going to start today. I'm going to redo the whole video and explain to you, at least in, in my terms, ferrocerium and mish metal. Okay, now I'm not a scientist. I don't play one on TV. Uh, I've just studied this a little bit. And some of the background comes from the fact that my wife is Swiss. And when she and I first got together, she used to look at the terms ferrocerium and mish metal and get a little bit confused. She says, I don't understand the difference here. She says in German, mish metal is mish metal over here. So mish metal, mish metal, it means mixed metal. So indeed, a mish metal fire starting rod is made from mixed metal and so is a ferrocerium rod. So right up front, we know that both of them are really interchangeable, the two names. However, because of the new vernacular in the security community over the last few years, I've noticed that some people call one rod a ferrocerium rod, they call other rods mish metal rods. And I think there's a reason for that, although technically they are both the same thing. First of all, let's start with cerium mish metal. Okay, there's an alloy of real rare earth elements. Okay, and they come from the Lathanum series. Now I see eyes rolling, so I'm not going to get any more technical than that. Just believe there's cerium mish metal is made from an alloy of rare earth elements. Now one of the problems with this, when you get this cerium mish metal, it's soft. Okay, you can't use it for like a flint and a lighter. So what they had to do was they had to mix something with that in order to make it stiff enough to use as a fire starter. So they added iron oxide and they added magnesium oxide. By adding these two, it provided you with something that you could scrape with a striker, such as a piece of steel, and it would give you hot sparks in which to ignite tinder with. Now, both a ferrocerium rod and a mish metal rod are made from these items, okay, cerium, and ferro, which is your iron, and magnesium. Now the term ferrocerium comes from this original term. You have ferro, which is iron, and you have your cerium, which is these alloys of elements from the lathanum series. When you add those together, along with magnesium oxide, you get a hard fire starting device that when you strike it, it provides real hot sparks. Now, Let's enter the 21st century. People wanted a hotter fire starter. What I mean by hotter is they wanted the sparks to be hotter. So what they did was they lowered the iron content and increased the magnesium content. What this gives you now, instead of very hot sparks coming out of what I still call the ferrocerium rod, it gives you globs of burning magnesium hot globs of burning magnesium. Now, when these things land, they continue to burn for a while. Uh, a lot of people are calling these mish metal rods. They're actually ferrocerium rods. They're actually mish metal rods. Nobody's wrong, nobody's right. But the problem is a lot of people who are selling these things don't know what they're selling. If you ask them, what kind of fire starting rod is this? Is this the harder more iron content, less magnesium content, or is it the softer, more magnesium content, less iron content? A lot of people don't know. There are those who do, and I give them credit, but I've checked with a lot of different shops anonymously and said, you know, which type of fire rod is this? And they say, well, it's a fire starting rod. It's, it's a ferrocerium rod. Um, this could cause a problem if you don't know, and if they can't answer your question, you really don't know what you're buying. Now, I myself, being from the old school, I really prefer the, what I call the older type mish metal or ferrocerium rods that are hotter in iron or higher in iron content and less of the magnesium. 
and I've got some laid out here and I'm going to show you a close-up of these and how these work. Most of these are Swedish fire steels. Not all of them are made in Sweden, but most, a lot of them are. Um, my, the Light My Fire, the Scouts, the Irons, all this, the uh, Blast Match, the Strike Force, all of these are all made from the heavy iron, less magnesium. And these will give you real hot sparks. Now with the hot sparks, what some people have a problem with is they haven't properly prepared their tinder and they don't have these burning chunks of magnesium like you have in the newer type rods and so they have a problem starting the fire. Myself personally, as long as I've prepared my tinder properly, I really don't have a problem starting a fire with a ferro rod. I like the real hot sparks and a lot of them. Okay, now over here I have some of the newer type rods which I personally call mish metal. I know I see the eyes rolling again. They're ferrocerium, they are mish metal, but these are higher in magnesium content and they're lower in the iron content. And these are the ones that will give you these burning chunks of magnesium that will continue to burn after they land in your nest or your tinder bundle uh, if you can get them to land there. Myself personally, uh, I find them more difficult to aim because these chunks seem to fly all over. I'm told that that's just myself, that other people don't have this problem. Uh, the purpose of this video is not to guide you one way or the other, but to explain that there are two types of fire starting rods out there, and you should know the difference between the two, and then you should choose the ones that work for you. Okay, what I want to do now is get a close-up of these rods. I'm going to strike a couple of them and show you the difference of how some produce just sparks and some pro produce molten pieces of magnesium that's going to continue to burn after it lands in your tinder. Okay, as you can see, I have some of the various rods laid out here, ferrocerium, mesh metal, whichever you want to call them. These over here are the higher in iron content and less of the magnesium content, what I've always called the ferrocerium rod, although they are mesh metal. Okay, over here we have the new softer, more magnesium, less iron. One thing you have to keep in mind with both of these, at least in my mind, is the ones that are higher in, higher in iron content last much longer than the ones higher in magnesium content. These over here, to me, seem to wear out a lot faster because you're ripping off big chunks of magnesium. These over here last longer because you're not taking off as much. You're just knocking sparks off it. You're knocking small pieces off. So one of my reasons for liking these better, the higher iron content, is because they last longer and these don't last as long. Let's strike a couple of these and see how they work. I'm going to try to do this so you can actually see the sparks. This is a one of the, let's say, a Light My Fire Army. As you can see, a lot of sparks. Try a big stick flint. A lot of sparks, but no burning chunks. Just a lot of sparks. Okay, here's a strike force. As you can see again, a lot of sparks, no burning chunks. When you move over here to the more magnesium, less iron content, you, as you can see there, when you pull these, and get them to strike, you get burning pieces that stay burning. And this is what a lot of people prefer these for, is because they continue to burn after they land in your tinder. But keep in mind that these wear out a lot faster. Here's a little one called the Nano Striker. Again, not as much, but you can see that when you use these type, the pieces that come off it are actually small burning pieces of magnesium. When you do this, you get with the hot, higher iron content, you get 
a lot more sparks and very hot sparks, but they don't keep burning. So you have to prepare your tinder and make sure it's ready for this. This here, I've actually been able to light a piece of paper with them once that lands on there and keeps burning. Well, there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed this short video explaining the difference between fire starting rods. They are both ferrocerium. They are both mish metal. Um, I hope you have a better understanding though that are some are have a higher iron content and less magnesium and some have a higher magnesium and less iron giving you different results the first one being hot sparks the second one being molten pieces of magnesium I'd like to thank you as always for joining us I'd like to make a note that when you check our website that we do have our fire starting devices segregated into two sections one higher iron content less magnesium and softer rods being higher in magnesium and less than iron so that when you come to buy products from us you know the difference and you know what you're buying anyway i thank you for your views i thank you for joining us i thank you for supporting both our store and our business if for no other reason than stopping by our site check out some of our articles and check out some of our videos and we'll see you next time around